This week we're going to be talking about the Roswell UFO crash of 1947. Or as my missus calls it, Bloody Roswell. Because she's sick of hearing about it, whatever documentary you watch is bound to be a reference to Roswell. It began in the summer of 1947, at the beginning of the Cold War, when the US Army Air Force sent out a shocker of a press release announcing they'd recovered a flying disc from a ranch near Roswell. Flying disc because the term flying saucer had only been coined a week or so earlier and hadn't yet become entrenched in people's language or psyche. 76 years later, the incident remains a defining aspect of the area's identity. The town of Roswell boasts a UFO museum with its own research centre, a flying saucer inspired McDonald's, alien themed streetlights and even an extraterrestrial family stranded in a broken down UFO on the side of State Route 285 looking for a jump start. But as the old saying goes, there's no smoke without fire. And behind all the UFO mania, the paraphernalia and the merchandise, there lies an uneasy truth. The events that transpired that summer are anything but clear cut. Many a conflicting cover up. Countless differing government explanations have ensued over the years. Was it a saucer? A V2 test missile that had gone awry? A weather balloon, Russians, a secret weather balloon, a super secret weather balloon with monkeys. And all that is just the tip of the iceberg. And let's not forget, there's also possible other crash sites as well. Join us after 10 tonight when we will be discussing Roswell. Here on Weir FM, we're tacky on. We are. We are. We are. Tachyon. You're listening to Tachyon Radio. 